say, but I am nice. So I try not to. But yeah. Hey guys, what's up? It's Jade here, and I'm back again with another video. How is everybody doing out there? Um, I hope you guys are having a good day. Today, I want to come in and do a, a real Jade Talks. Um, just because I'm going to try not to cry. Like, this is a real, real Jade Talk, okay? Y'all, I got a beanie on, I got one of my Dr. Huxtable sweaters on, I have my Mountain Dew, and I got my cigarette, girl. Yes, I smoke. For those of y'all that don't know, I do smoke cigarettes. Oh, well. But I wanted to come in today. I'm gonna... Okay. I don't even know where to begin. It's just... Girl, you know when you have those days, you know? Those days where everything is just too much that's that's what's going on right now it, and like for me it's it's so hard because I'm I'm trans you know and I'm coming to this place now where I'm starting to really truthfully understand I think I've said it before but that in my circle of friends I am the only transgender girl I'm the only transgender person so, at the end of the day, I have absolutely no one to fucking relate to. Like, and it's starting to become so relevant now that I am alone and that I don't have anyone to relate to. And the few trans people that I do know, they're, I don't even, they're not even, they're gender neutral. They're not even trans, you know, and it's just, it's been a lot lately, just this past week, the, I literally filmed a video on this, the depression that you feel from hormones, I mean, fuck it, hormones alone, like right now I'm on and off of my hormones, and that's a lot, like my emotions are out of fucking whack. Not to mention, I just got done getting in all kinds of fight with my fucking side piece, nigga, whatever. I don't even fucking know. Like, it's just been a lot. It's just been a lot. I've just been thinking about my life and what direction I want to take it in. Relationships, how they play out for me. My future, my future goal plans. And I don't know, it's just, it's really hard for me because this video is all over the place, but like, I'm a confident person and I'm fairly co confident in how I look. You know, that plays a big part of me is that even when I usually am down, I can pull myself up like, you're a bad bitch, but... Lately, I have just felt so bricky, so manly, so ugly. Like, I felt so clockable, basically. And normally, I'm not that girl. I'm not at all. But for some reason, lately, I just, I felt that way. It doesn't matter what I do. It doesn't matter how I do my makeup. It doesn't matter how or what I wear or what I push up or extra stuff or extra do whatever I just I don't feel pretty and I felt like my confidence has just been slowly dropping like I don't even know how to explain it it's almost like someone is basically like tipping me like a teapot and like pouring me out you know um I don't Lately, I just, I haven't felt as confident when I walk in a room. I don't feel confident in the way I look. I, do, I don't want to say anything in front of people. And that's been my biggest thing with not putting videos up, is that I just haven't felt like myself. 
and I felt so inadequate as a trans woman because I'm on and off my fucking hormones, you know, right now, and I feel like at this point, I almost, in the back of my mind, it's right there, like, girl, just stop, you don't have to finish it, you can just detransition, you could just go back to living life the way it was, but I, I fucking can't. I just can't do that. And I know what a lot of the haters out there are going to say. That's how you should feel. You're an abomination or whatever, but fuck them. Nobody understands how hard it is to get up every day and be yourself when you're trans. Okay, it's a whole nother world than just living life as an effeminate gay man. And trust me, honey, I've been there, done that years ago. Okay? It's just so hard. The pressure to feel perfect, to look perfect. I am consistently, constantly critiqued everywhere I go from my hair to my eyeshadow, my eyelashes, my nail color, what leggings I wear that day, what shoes I put on, how I decide to put on my lipstick, I am constantly critiqued. And sometimes it just builds and that shit gets to be too much and you just want to fucking explode. And the thing that motherfuckers don't realize is that that starts to take a big toll on you mentally and it sucks even more when you have no support group. It's just really fucked up. You know, because I'm a really genuine person and I just feel like at this point I have no one in my corner I just my emotions are everywhere I feel like I should be so much farther in my transition than I am I feel like I should be so much farther progressed in the career and the life that I wanted to have for myself you know I feel like My love life right now is a mess. It's a fucking mess. And it's just sad because at the end of the day, I'm really realizing that I got myself. And that's it. I, I came in alone. And I'm going to fucking go out alone at the end of the day. And that's why people always ask me, like, why, are you, why do you scream so much? Why do you fight so much? Why do you you know, like, go off on people so much. And it's not even so much of going off. It's, bitch, I'm defending myself. Because you ain't gonna do it. Ain't nobody gonna stand in the background and help me at the end of the day. At the end of the fucking day, if Jade, Andrea, don't got Jade, Andrea, nobody got me. Let's be real. And it's really fucked up. I just, I just, I don't know. It's really hard for me to, like, I've, I've gone through this trans depression before many a time, so I'm sure I know I'll get through it, but it's just, it's really hard for me to wake up <coughs> and not feel pretty, you know, and not feel <clears throat> confident, and not feel strong every day, and to just consistently feel tired, and feel worn out, and feel over it, you know, like, and I know what I'm capable of, like, I know what I'm capable of, and that's what's been stopping me, has been my trans depression from putting up any kinds of videos, from, like, I have so many topics and videos that I want to discuss about trans topics, about gay topics, about myself, about just everything. I, there's so much that I do want to discuss, but 
it's my own body dysmorphia that I'm going through right now, my own trans depression. It is my own self in my mind. And then society is not helping. The fact that my support system is not really pulling through for me is not helping. And I am a dramatic person, but at the same time, I just felt like such a loser lately. And it's not okay. So I don't know. This was a whole rant and a whole ramble. Because girl, I'm just going through it, okay? I feel like... I have to handle everything on my own, alone. I feel like I have to get a hold of my own hormones, my own regimen, because the town where I live in, they don't know jack shit about it. Our fucking LGBT center here is bullshit. The people here are bullshit. My relationship right now is a fucking wreck. I want to fucking wring fucking Travis's neck. Like, I would just... <sighs> I don't know. And yeah. I realize now that I'm going to have to start being really selfish with my time and my energy and my love and that I'm gonna have to be cold and that I'm gonna have to do for fucking me which is something I always say but I am nice so I try not to but yeah That's what I'm gonna have to do. I'm gonna have to start speeding motherfuckers with a long handle wooden spoon. And that's just it. But this too hopefully will pass. And I will get over it. Hopefully I can go to bed tonight and wake up in the morning when I have to go to work and feel beautiful and confident and strong again and feel like the smart, young, talented woman that I am. Until then, this was a pointless ass rant video and I love you guys so, so, so much. I'm sure somebody out there can relate and I'm sure the haters will love this. Just fucking eat it up. So, to all my high society members, I love you guys. Let me know if you guys feel the same way sometimes, if you're on and off your hormones, if you're going through relationship problems, if you feel like your support system isn't there for you, if you feel like you're having trans depression too, maybe we can talk about it. Anyway, I love you guys, high society, and I'll talk to you guys later.